Hello friends, we are going to play another grocery game today. We are playing How Would You Live On This? And this is what you have at your disposal. In your pantry, you basically have all the rice you want. Let's say you have a 20 pound bag of rice and you have $10 and you have to use these two things for a week. So you have to live on the rice and whatever the $10 can buy you for a week. All right, so I'm going to show you what I would do. I'm going to show you the ingredients that I would buy and tell you what I would make. Now, in addition to these two things, the money and the rice, you do have pantry ingredients at your disposal. So you have, you know, basically all the, the spices and herbs that you would want. You got, I, I have here, for example, garlic, seasoned salt, turmeric, crushed red pepper, just a few things here and uh, we have some unopened uh, pantry ingredients. We have mayonnaise, olive oil, ketchup, and mustard. So you could have like any herbs and spices and um, flavorings, condiments, basically you would have in your pantry. Now, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about what I would buy. I am going to use the Dollar Tree for an example here. And let's say I have access to a farmer's market for some uh, fresh produce. So let's go over this. Now with the $10, what would I buy? Okay, I am going to buy two packs of sardines because I like to have that animal protein. Okay, so those are going to be $1.25 each. So that's $2.50. Now let's look at a couple of things here. You get a whole lot of calcium in here. You get 28% of your daily calcium in this. You get a ton of protein, 22 grams of protein. You get 15% of your vitamin D and so on and so forth. There's tons of stuff that's not listed here that you get. Okay, so I've got the sardines and then I'm still at the dollar store here, okay? So I'm going to get a jar of peanuts. Now I don't have this, the jar, the size of peanuts that they have at the dollar store here with me. So this is just an example. So at a normal grocery store, you generally find peanuts in a 16 ounce size. But at the Dollar Tree, you generally find peanuts that are eight ounces in size. So that would be half of this. So I would get a jar of peanuts for $1.25 and a bag of kidney beans. That's a one pound bag of kidney beans for $1.25. And now I've already opened this, but this is the only example I have for green split peas. I would buy a pound of green split peas for $1.25 because I believe at this point, uh, most of the dollar stores in the country are at the $1.25 mark. So it's the dollar and change store, right? <laughs> okay, now we are going to go to a farmer's market. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm buying at the farmer's market. I am getting a head of cabbage. Let's say this comes to about two dollars because it's going by the per pound price. I would get two onions for a dollar, a total of about a dollar, and I would get about 75 cents worth of carrots. Now what what am I going to make with this? Okay, now, if I didn't say this earlier, I am not concerned about having a breakfast style breakfast. Basically, I'm going to eat whatever I come up with. So I'm not worried about having toast or eggs or pancakes or anything you traditionally have for breakfast. It's just about getting those calories in, um, you know, getting something somewhat satisfying to eat because this is quite drastic, okay? This is quite drastic. So I'm going to tell you the meals that I would make. Now, one of the things I really enjoy, whether I have money on me or not, is a nice split pea soup. Okay, so one of the dishes I would make is split pea soup with some chopped carrot in it. And um, there's a, a couple of ways to do this. So with the split pea, so you could either make it more thick and have it over rice, or you can have it more soupy, just eat it like a soup, okay? So I would probably try it both ways. One of my favorite ways to eat split pea soup is to have cauliflower in it, but fresh cauliflower would be more expensive than the, than the cabbage probably, and 
I mean, I could probably get a bag of frozen cauliflower somewhere for a dollar, but I, you know, I have to make sacrifices here, so I'm going to leave that out. Okay, so that's one of the things I would make. Rice and peas is a really, really delicious food, and it's in a lot of um, ethnic cuisine. I think um, Jamaican cuisine has rice and peas. I think Indian have, have rice and peas. And, okay, well, let's get to the next dish. Okay, we're going to talk about a fried rice here. Okay, so I'm going to use the peanuts and some of the peas that I haven't boiled down. You can, with the split peas, you can eat them a couple of ways. You could eat them just until they're whole and not broken down, or you can really break them down, get the, the flavor and the water and everything mixed in together with your herbs and spices. So for my fried rice, it would be the peanuts and the split peas and the rice. That's what I do for that. Maybe put some uh, sliced cabbage in there or, or shredded cabbage. That would be really good. And for any of these dishes, I could saute some carrot and put it in there. It would be really great for anything with the split peas. I would probably reserve it mostly for that. Okay, now another dish I would like to make is some coleslaw. I'm big on coleslaw. I like it more than I used to, like I guess as I get older. So I would have the cabbage um, is the major ingredient with that. You have a little bit of shredded carrot. And yes, of course, I have to have my mayonnaise, guys. Some mayonnaise and I'll have my vinegar. So I'm going to have a lot of that. And probably what I would eat with that are some kidney bean patties. I normally make them with egg, but you can just make them with a little bit of um, water and a little bit of like like oil as a binder as long as you have them moist enough you know and a lot of people are vegan or vegetarian and uh, they they don't really want animal products in there so that would make a full meal okay now as for the sardines this would be a real treat for me so I would have some maybe a couple times a week I would eat this since I have two so I would have this next to the rice and peas or the fried rice. I would have this next to it. And what do I like to have with my sardines? I like to have some mustard in there. Some people will put a little bit of ketchup in there. I like some mustard. If I want some something really savory, I might do that with olive oil. Another thing that can be done is have a mixture of kidney beans and split peas. Mix that with, um, you know, like some herbs and spices or have it sort of like, sort of like as a little bean salad with olive oil and vinegar. You could always have some peanuts, just eat them out of your hand. You could always do that. So what makes this kind of more tolerable, even though it's $10, is that you have the herbs and spices, and the condiments, pretty much whatever you want. The bouillon would really come in handy if you want some bouillon, like a uh, flavor for a split pea soup. You could also have a, um, like a soup made out of kidney beans and some, some onion in there. When I see the thing is for me when I'm doing this, I really like to spread the onion out. So I don't wanna have like chunks of onion. So if I were making that fried rice, I would use this really sparingly, if at all. I would rather use it as a flavoring in a soup because to me, onions, their power is really in the flavor that they give and it's obviously very low in calories, so you're not getting much there, okay? So, so even though the carrots are probably one of the cheapest items here, I didn't really load up on them too much because I'm also using them on the side. So the cabbage, now with this cabbage, cabbage to me is really, even though it's probably about maybe something like uh, around 70 cents a pound, um, you would think that maybe that sounds cheap, but actually when you buy like one head, it can easily be, become $3. So you gotta watch the size of that and uh, with this, with the price of cabbage going up, I would be absolutely sure 
to even eat the core. I'm eating down to the core. The only thing I'm not eating is this little nub right here. We're eating everything else, okay? You just, all you gotta do is either shred it down or just chop it up finely enough and it's perfectly, perfectly edible. It gets a little more bitter. The core is, it tastes a little more bitter, but it's certainly fine. And hey, you can always saute it, add some condiments to it, whatever. Just eat the whole thing, eat the whole thing. Okay, so those are basically most of my ideas. There are people in the world that all they have like for a good deal of a week is just rice. And then some people have the rice and the beans available. So hey, if they can do it, we certainly can do it. And we, we have the added benefit here of a lot of um, produce being available and of these extra items being available to us in this challenge right here. So I want you to just, you know, just use your... Uh, your thought processes. If you're vegan or vegetarian, hey, you know, you could um, you could certainly swap out something like uh, the sardines for something else. And that's when it comes to be a little challenging. But that's why I do things like add these peanuts in. You know that joke like living on peanuts or living on beans. These things are actually super, super nutritious. Very nutritious. You got, okay, let's say for example here, this label has more information than a lot of other nutrition labels. Uh, okay, so one serving of peanuts, right, has, let's see here, you've got 15% of your vitamin E, 10% of pant pantothenic acid, 20% of copper, 25% of manganese, 10% of magnesium, 30% of niacin, and it's just, it's really amazing, and that one 8 ounce container is going to have about 1300 calories in it. So that's really your most calorie dense item that's going to be in this challenge except for, let's say, the olive oil and the mayonnaise, okay? So, yes, guys, what would you do with all the rice you want and $10, okay? Now, another option here is if I, if I were to substitute some of these items and I really wanted breakfast, I could do a rice cereal. In my last Walmart challenge, how to eat for ten dollars a week which was very tough to do that was a very tough menu to come up with but i have a rice cereal recipe in there so you would have to get rid of maybe one or two of these ingredients and get yourself some half and half a container of half and half if you have sugar and cinnamon you could have rice cereal okay i forget how much that half and half was i think it was about a dollar twenty five so if you're willing to get rid of maybe one pack of sardines, you could do that. I could do that for this challenge, okay? All right, guys, so please let me know your thoughts below on what you would do with this limited amount of money and all the rice you wanted, okay? I look forward to reading your ideas. I hope you have a great day, and please also see the Rakuten link below to get $30 back on your first purchase of $30 or more, you can basically get your item for free. I use Rakuten all the time, and basically if you buy your item, within three days you'll see that $30 show up in the account. Okay, all right, talk to you guys below. Have a good day.